Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area, specifically how we can visualize area as an array, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So one of the ways that we can think about area, specifically of a rectangle, is we can think of it as an array. Because sometimes they're going to ask us to solve a problem about finding the area of a shape and they don't give us anything to look at. So when we don't have any type of visual, we can draw our own. So take a look at this example here. So we need to find the area of a rectangle. Now, we can visualize that rectangle as six rows and we're gonna have eight tiles in each row. All right, so let's come up with our six rows. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of number these right here. All right, and I'm gonna put eight tiles in each row. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put little squares like this. And if you want, you can actually number them when you're done to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I've got my one row of eight tiles. Now, in order to make this an array, right, we can continue to draw these. And hopefully, one thing that we're seeing is that when we're talking about arrays, Typically, we're talking about multiplication, right? An array is one way to visualize basic multiplication facts. And so if that means that we are going to be able to connect array with multiplication, that means we're also going to be able to connect an area model with multiplication. And that's really what we're looking at here when we are drawing an array. One way to think about finding the area is to use an array, and that means to use multiplication. So here is our array. You notice I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and each row has eight tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, here's my rectangle. All right, so there's my rectangle. And we're going to pretend that each of those tiles are the same area. And we're just kind of placing those tiles inside the rectangle. So then my question is, what is the area of the rectangle? Well, the area of the rectangle is going to be how many tiles fit inside, right? So I can either count by eights, because I've got six rows of eight. So I could say... 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, right? That would be 6 groups of 8 equals 48. Or you can count by your columns, right? There's sixes, right? So I've got 6, I'm going vertically now, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and yes, of course, we end up with that same answer of 48. Now I've got eight groups of six to equal 48. So when we're thinking of the area of a rectangle, and they tell us you've got six rows, and you've got eight tiles in each row, if you want, you can draw a picture, just like I did. Or you can think, all right, six rows, eight in each row. You know what? That's just going to end up being a multiplication problem. So six times eight is going to make 48. And that is what we're going to end up using as the formula for the area of a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is going to end up having this formula. A equals L times W, length times width. Sometimes we'll talk about it in these terms, base times height. Base times height, and sometimes we'll have a little dot there for multiplication rather than the x, or sometimes we'll just put the two letters next to each other, bh. That also means base times height. And that's what we can do. We can draw a picture of an array and multiply the length and the width. 